that is a fine stroke right along the dirt track beautifully played by AB de Villiers for four got the hang of it now <laughs> outstanding absolutely outstanding they're going up this time Shane Warne thinks he's got it Gilly has taken the bows off it has been referred also to the third umpire Brian Gerling and AB de Villiers is looking just a little bit guilty here no the answer is no he didn't quite get it back in time so South Africa have lost their first wicket AB de Villiers after playing pretty well 50 in the first innings now stumped by Gilchrist bold Warren for 46 so Australia have made the breakthrough we have just witnessed some extremely special leg spin bowling from Shane Warne is into the attack he's picked up a wicket in his fourth delivery after his second one turned a mile and now it's uh, going to be Herschel Gibbs well is that the glove I think it is yes it is now Graham Smith's not a natural sweeper doesn't often do it there's going to be a few questions asked about that he was given out though in the end Jock Callis joins the party he made 100 in the first innings he's got a huge job here he's arrived at the crease with Shane Warne in full flight there's three men around the bat and it's all action oh it kicks and bounces off the length now oh and that's close yes he's given him well i want to see a replay of that as well i, I don't know whether that's a makeup or not it's it's pretty hard to go down that course but my first reaction was Perhaps it pitched just outside leg stump. It'll be close one way or the other. <laughs> you did right. Gee whiz. The poor umpire under such pressure here. One where they are all gathered round, convinced that he got a bat pad. Now he's been given out LBW. Did he get an edge on this one? Oh, I tell you, that's marginal whether it pitched outside or not. Very hard to see. I'd like to see Hawkeye on that. Umpire says he has no doubt. Jacques Cullis, he's gone for seven, a big wicket for Australia. It's turning, it's turning big time for Warney. And another left-hander comes to the crease in Ashwell Prince, and, uh, well, he's being surrounded by fielders. That's out, out court slip. That one did bounce. That was a nasty delivery. It really was. That obviously hit something. Uh, there was no way Herschel Gibbs could do much about that. It was not a bouncer. It hit something on the pitch, reared at him, and, uh, well, he's just nudged it away to slip. Don't blame Herschel Gibbs for that one. That is a really tough one to cope with. It either goes in a space or straight to a fielder. That's the bat. Yes, it's gone. No doubt about that. Look how far this carries. It hits him hard on the glove. He's got nowhere to go. And uh, Mike Hussey takes a good catch. Had to run. Uh, Boucher wait, wait. is the new man in. So uh, Boucher down at the non-striker's end. Rudolph is about to face Warren's music. Was there a glove on the way out? I think there was. Yes, there was. Well, round the wicket has paid its dividends again to Warren. And I tell you what, Jacques Rudolph was not convinced. I think it hit the pad and on the way up, it's hit the glove. He went to pad it away and then does it hit the gloves? Oh, I think it does, yes. And that's pretty good. They all went up straight away. Justin Langer was the catcher. And just have a look at this. Just there, bang, onto the gloves. Gilchrist knew at that moment, catch it he says, Langer did, Rudolph has to go, 36 well played for him, 170 for 6. So Sean Pollock take guard against Shane Warne and uh, Sean Pollock plays Shane Warne pretty well normally, I want to put the mockers on him but he's kind of confident against him, he's been around a while. Well Brittley has swung it in. And he's knocked over Sean Pollock. It was a full delivery and Polly didn't get well forward. Yeah, the bouncers have done him. They've pushed him right back onto the back foot where he's not all that comfortable because he's a tall man. A little bit of tail in, just enough to beat the inside edge of the bat. And caught on the crease, Sean Pollock. He likes to strike the ball. It wasn't that kind of wicket for him. Celebrations for the Australians. 
And Sean Pollock, second failure in the mat in the match uh, with the bat that is 181 for seven. Mark Boucher joins him. And uh, Dada just would have said good luck. This is what he's done. He's nice average for wee bats for sure. 53 innings, 450s in there. Bats quite high up for his domestic team. In the air, that's out, that's out. Well, he's uh, just gone one too many. He just got himself a little bit loose there. I think he took the attitude. If I really hit it hard with all these fielders around me, I'll get away with it. But he's still just short of that uh, half century he was trying to get against Australia. Didn't quite make it. Mind you, he ended up batting for a long time. That's a good catch from uh, Michael Clark. That's a magnificent catch. Eventually he hangs in there and gets his man, Michael Kasprovich. And the excitement is get his guard and uh, get ready here. They're... Uh, Four balls to go in this over, assuming there are no no balls. And they will be getting stuck right into him. Mind you, they don't want to waste any time with short balls and the like. They've got one man back on the boundary, two slips in a gully. They uh, want to home in there on those stumps. Yeah! Well, I think that might have hit the bat. Yes, he's on his way. Shane Warner's bowled a beautiful delivery. That's uh, the sort of thing that can happen. If you keep tossing it up, keep spinning it away at some stage with all those slips in the area, you're going to nick one. Well, as quickly the smiles have disappeared. And uh, Makai Antini has got to make his way out there. That's a great ball from uh, Warren. And I think this just flicks the glove. And it does. And Matty Hayden does the rest. No chance here of South Africa winning. It's a question of whether they can hang in until the umpires decide the light's too bad. He's pretty bad right now. Ah! That's close. Very, very close. He's given him. No, he's given him. The Australians have won the test match. Mackay and Tini has been given out LBW. The question for me was it out of line? Did it hit him outside the line? It matters not now. Did it go on to hit the stumps? That's the big question. He didn't play a shot, can hit him out of line, but would it have hit the off stump? Australia turned to their man on so many occasions he's done it for them. And today is no different. Shane Warne ends with seven. Six for 86, my apologies. And that's this was good enough for Billy Doctrove. Didn't play a shot. Hike didn't see him an issue. Was it in fact going on to hit or stump? Great disappointment from Mark Boucher. He can't quite believe it, but you've got to give credit when credit's due. A fine, a fine piece of bowling. They deserve that celebration, and yet again, their man has come to the party. He's a champion bowler. Let's give that to him.